What's going on everyone? This is Fred, FoundMyVapes.com, and today we're going to take a look at the clone of the Stingray X. I got another one from Scorite, and this one is good. So for those of you that don't know, the original Stingray comes from a company called JD Tech. They're the ones who came out with all the Stingrays, the original Phantom Brass Stingray, the Copper Stingrays, and now this, the Stingray X. Now this one is a clone that I received from Scorite, and there's a lot of great things about this. This is a full copper mod, so it's gonna hit really hard, but the cool thing about it is that it has a stainless steel sleeve around it. If you've owned a copper mod, you'll know that one of the biggest pains about it is keeping it clean. Copper tarnishes really fast, so you always have to maintain it and keep it clean. Now with the stainless steel sleeve, that's gonna reduce the amount of maintenance that you have to do with this mod, but you still get the benefits of the conductivity of copper. Another cool thing about this mod is that it comes with a standard 510 top cap with a floating pin, as well as a hybrid connection. With the hybrid connection, the positive pin in your atomizer has direct contact with the battery. This is gonna reduce the voltage drop, making this a very hard hitting mod. The Stingray X also has a magnetic switch, giving it a very, very short throw. And I'm just gonna say right off the bat, this is a great mod. So let's dive right in and take a closer look. So it comes in a box like this, and you can see it's made by Scorite. Now, if we open up the box, you will see your mod. So here's the Stingray, and you also have the hybrid top cap and drip tip. Now, if we take out the mod, and here is the Stingray X. Now, I think this looks really nice. It is a full copper construction, but it has this stainless steel sleeve, which is going to reduce the amount of maintenance that you have to do with this mod. Now, it does come with a standard 510 top cap. And as you can see, it has a floating silver plated pin. So the way this works is as you're screwing down your atomizer, the atomizer pin is going to push out that silver plated contact. So as you can see, that pin has been pushed out. Now this is going to make contact with the positive side of your battery. So the Steamray X also includes this hybrid adapter. So as you're screwing down your atomizer, the atomizer pin makes direct contact with the battery. This is going to reduce any voltage drop. Once you have the hybrid adapter screwed on, then you can install it onto the tube. This is going to give it a very flush look. And let me just show you what the drip tip looks like. So here's the drip tip that comes with the Steamray X. It's got a nice hourglass shape. Looks really nice. So let's take a look at the switch. Now this switch is similar to all the other Stingrays. So you're gonna have your silver plated contact. It's a magnetic switch. And you have the JD Tech logo on the bottom. And to take this apart, you just need a flathead screwdriver and unscrew that contact. So once you take the contact off, you'll be able to remove the assembly. Now be careful of that rice pin, you don't want to lose that. So as you're taking it off, you'll see that it is magnets. So here's the magnet on the button and the magnet on the housing. So pretty simple design and it works really well. So to put it back together, you want to reverse the steps. You want to line up the two notches on the housing and the switch like so, you see the hole right there. And then you wanna insert the rice pin. So as you can see, the rice pin is installed. Now that pin is to prevent the switch from turning. And it works really well. It's kind of a pain to put in, but it works well. Then you take your contact and screw that in. And there you go, here's a switch. Now, I don't know if you can tell but this has a very, very short throw. Which I really like. So then you can take your tube, insert the battery, and screw on the switch. Now it does have this locking ring, and it works really well. Now the one thing that I don't like about this 
is that if you set the switch down without locking it, it will fire. So I'll show you again, if it's unlocked and I set it down, it starts firing. So that's a big issue for me because I don't like having to lock this every single time. But let me take the switch off again and I'll show you the tube. So here's the tube in 18650 mode and I have the locking ring, everything is smooth. So you have the nice Stingray logo right there. Now for the longest time, I thought this was an 18650 only mod. But after a week's use, I accidentally noticed that the tubes actually separate. You see that? So this allows you to fit not only an 18350, an 18500, but also the 18650. Now I'm really impressed with this machining because I had no idea that there's separate tubes on here. You could barely tell that there's any seams at all. Now, as you can see, it is a full copper tube. All right, so let's back out and vape on it. So like I mentioned earlier, this is a great mod. It hits really hard and has a lot of features that I really like. It's a copper construction, but with that stainless steel sleeve, it keeps the maintenance down. And it also has that option for the hybrid top cap. And the machining on this is fantastic. I was using this for a whole week thinking that it was a solid single 18650 tube. It wasn't until I started unscrewing the atomizer that I realized that they're separate tubes. And that's really awesome in my opinion because I really like the single tube designs. I don't like having separate tubes, but in this case, I didn't even notice. Now there's only one negative that I found with this clone and it's a big negative for me and that's the switch. Now I really like the switch, but the big problem that I have is that it can't hold its own weight. And what I mean by that is if I don't lock the switch and I set it down, it's gonna start firing. And that's a big negative for me because I don't wanna have to lock the switch every time I set it down. I work at my desk in front of the computer a lot. So having to lock the switch every time I set it down is a big inconvenience. But besides that, there's really no negatives about this. So if you like the looks and you want a copper mod without the maintenance, this is a very good choice. You just have to be aware that you have to lock it every time you put it down. But that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Are you sick of having the same mod as everyone else? Tired of waiting on pre-orders? Well, maybe you should build your own DNA box mod. It's not as difficult as they may seem.